Hey jelly bean jelly tastic friends welcome back to the channel or if you're new here go and hit that subscribe button come and join the jelly bean family we'd love to have you here now today we are going to be talking about items in game fun items that are basically perfect for your spooky kid court cool island there's boots there's boots making an appearance as he usually does <laughs> bless his little gator booty <laughs> gator booty gator booty gator booty Anyway, we will be talking about what I believe are the top dog of items for your spooky Kiko Island in Animal Crossing. There's gonna be 10, 10 fabulous items, and Whee! what's he doing? I love my little bootsy boot. But yes, we're gonna be talking about 10 fabulous items for your Kid Core Halloween Island today. And Boots is gonna steal the show by the seams of it as he's in the area that I'm gonna be filming in. So this could be an interesting one, everyone. <laughs> Are you coming over? No, no. Rejected. Totally rejected. That was mean boots. Our first item today is frozen furniture. Now, some of you might think ice furniture for Halloween Island. Is she going crazy? Well, yes, my jelly beans. I'm crazy, but these are perfect. Customize them to your favorite colors. I've used green, orange, and purple on my island because I feel like these are the perfect Halloween colors. Look at me running through that little archway. It's so, so cute. See, told you these items are perfect. Now, the only items I use from the frozen set are the archway, the pillars, the frozen tree, and the counter, which I I think I've only used once currently, but hoping to use it again. Now, the reason I say these items are perfect is because they look amazing in the dark. They add a massive amount of color to an area and I'm just totally obsessed. Our next item is the standees. I love all the standees, grass, hedge, mountain, and tree. I've decorated them all in the colors of fall to match my Halloween island. And I'm obsessed with using them everywhere. You've seen them a lot in my builds and I'm very distracted right now. Boots, you're cute. Please stop. I don't losing what words I need to say <laughs> but yeah I feel like these are great items they add a very animated feel to an island I feel anyway I'm obsessed with using them in all my builds on any island I'm making I try to use them everywhere the hyacinth lamp needs no introduction needs no words it's beautiful day night sunset sunrise wherever you're putting it hyacinth lamp now i use mine in orange and purple just because they're the halloweeny colors obsession is real use them everywhere everywhere got a space hyacinth lamp grow yourself some purple hyacinths make some hyacinth lamp i think i could convince you anymore <laughs> Now, I couldn't really do a perfect items for your Halloween Kid Court Island without including the spooky furniture set. It's literally made for Halloween. It's all pumpkins and Jack gives it to you. Well, you villagers give you the DIY and you grow the pumpkins and do all the hard work by making everything. But regardless, how cute is it? It's adorable. Like, I feel like we couldn't have had a better set of furniture and the new items they included this year were just amazing. I love the spooky lantern set, but I do wish you could sit on the little haystack, but it's a shame you know oh well we can put cute little items on it instead to be honest i would have loved to see my little villager sit on it <laughs> so so cute imagine boots putting his little booty on it it's so cute uh, girl can dream right these are the items that i mainly use around my island i love using the pumpkin carriage it's just such a large item i wish it was maybe a little bit smaller so i could fit it in other places oh and also the trick lantern here the spooky trick lantern i think it's called a trick lamp one of those <laughs> we never get the names right on this channel <laughs> It looks awesome when you open it up. It has such an amazing glow at night time and all these items just look fabulous in the dark. And you must use these really if you've got a Halloween island. Yar, next up pirate barrels. <laughs> That was my worst pirate voice ever. I think it's the only time I will ever try that and I'll never do it again. <laughs> Here we have the pirate barrels. We have the sideways pirate barrel and just your normal one. You get these from a pirate Gulliver. I promise I wouldn't do that again. Look, I'm sorry, okay? Definitely won't be doing it again. I promise. <laughs> I like to use them in most of my builds. I like turning them around because they look like weathered or worn barrels. I just feel like they can create a really cool effect. It's kind of like having the barrel that we have but with that pirate logo and it looks like we've just customized it really. We don't need to talk about this one. Next! <coughs> Leaf piles. Where do I begin with leaf piles? We have red, yellow, green, brown. They're just amazing. I put them everywhere. 
You should put them everywhere, use them, love them, let them be your favorite item. Leaf piles, everyone. Now, an item I've only used a couple of times at the moment, but I am planning on using it more, the Festival Garland. Now, I use it in the red color because I feel like that works really well with my Halloween Kid Core Island. They look really, really fun and playful to use, and I love that they light up in the nighttime, and I just think they're fantastic. Look who's back! Get a booty, get a booty. And he's after the balloon. Yay! Clap for the balloon! Oh, he's so cute, everyone. I love him. I'm obsessed. He's gonna be there, you know, I think top 10 villagers. Or top 20, maybe, because there's some cuties. Boots. Boots is definitely up there. Next up, we have a very simple item. This is a DIY item. It's the log stack. I use quite a few bits of the log furniture, actually, on my island. I use the log bench and the wild log bench. I love customizing them into the orange wood color. I think they work really, really well on a kick hot island, and I'm obsessed with using them. It's nice to use them instead of using a fence sometimes because obviously you can rotate them and like I've done here they look wiggly <laughs> that's the best way I could explain it wiggly but yes anyway log stacks are a great item to use anywhere even on the beaches so I definitely recommend these right here we have a collection of rock we have the garden rock the flat garden rock mossy garden rock and tall garden rock now I love using these around my island I feel like a lot of people don't use them just purely based on how much stone they cost to make they do cost a lot to make boots Yeah. <laughs> Superstar boots coming in and out again as usual. Our little star. Anyway, I yeah, I feel like a lot of people don't use these because they cost so much to make, but they can look great, especially if you're able to make a lot of them or if you're able to get hold of a lot of stone and make loads of these and place them everywhere around your island. I feel like they're great. They can really add to an area and make it really feel, you know, like there's real rocks. <laughs> real rocks? I think the only rock you can get is real, right? <laughs> oh, look at him and his dopey little face. I don't know what he's up to. He's having fun, we're having fun, and that's all that matters really. Now our last item to talk about today is what I'm going to call droppables or dropped items. These include on the floor right here the candy, lollipop and pumpkin and also the star frags on the left there. I love dropping items all over the floor. Isabel moans, Isabel hates it but I don't really talk to her no more about star rating because I know she's going to rate me under 5 so I don't care anymore. <laughs> but anyway I love to drop these around my island. It just looks like the villagers have dropped them sometimes especially candy and things like that. And the star frags can look so magical. It looks like they fell from the sky, or Celeste has put them there, and they're just beautiful, magical, charming. Love it. I'm obsessed. So there we go. That's my top 10 items I recommend for your kid core Halloween island. This video was so, so much fun. I hope you enjoyed it as well and managed to get some really good ideas for your island. So our question of the day is: out of the 10 items I showed you today, which ones are your favorite? Let me know your answers in the comments down below i love reading the comments you're all so sweet and so kind thank you so so much and if you enjoyed this video let me know by giving it a big thumbs up and maybe check out some of my other videos we normally do speed builds so definitely go check those out and as always hit that subscribe button come and join the jelly bean family we'd love to have you here and i'll see you in the next one bye